Hi, everyone. Welcome again to Ivy English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela. And I'm Wesley. Today, March 30th, almost the end of the month. This is usually about the time we have our monthly dialogue. And this one is called Not Have a Penny to One's Name. Cold Stone Broke. Hmm. Mm. 好，就是这个破产了。好，什么钱都没有。好，所以中文的标题叫做“某人身无分文”。Cold stone broke.、Right? Yeah, I mean stone broke is the standard phrase. Right. And then to add cold to it just makes <laughs> it sound that much worse. <laughs> okay. It's not just stone broke; it's cold stone broke. Yeah. So this is completely without money. In English, you can say, "Ah, someone is stone broke." Okay. That this Angela says, "You add another cold stone broke." That is really without money. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not have a penny to one's name. Okay. So this is not Yeah, so this rub R U B. 好，所以你没有两个 penny 可以在让他们在一起摩擦。换句话说，你就算有，也只有一个 penny. Yeah. 所以意思一样，也是没钱，很穷的意思。Yeah. Okay, we have、uh, two guys,、uh, probably in college, the、uh, college students, Rick and Sam. I'll take、mm-hmm. Rick. How should we decorate our dorm room? Well, we could head for IKEA and pick up a few things. That would be cool, but. There's just one problem. What's that? I don't have a penny to my name. I'm completely broke now. I can lend you some money. That would be great, but I, I can't pay you back for a while. Don't worry about it. Just think of it as a gift. All right. Rick starts with the question: How should we decorate our dorm room? What's a dorm room? Dormitory、starters? is the full name for dorm. D O R M. I T O R Y again. D O R M I T O R Y. It's very common in factories、um, where many many people will live、uh, or stay in rooms that are provided by the company so that people can more easily get to work.、Uh, and of course, on college or university campuses. Many students will stay in those dorms that are built by the university or college. So we call them dorms, not the rooms, but the buildings are called dorms. That's right,、mm. and that full word would be dormitories、mm. uh, in the plural. The y guy i e j s dormitories. So dorm is the building, and dorm room is the room.、Mm. That's right.、Um, now decorate is to. Add things to a place,、uh, a room, or or a whole house, to make it look more attractive, or or make it more comfortable to l- live and work in. So you can put like posters up on the walls. You could put fairy lights up. You could put rugs on the ground. You could bring in lighting and lamps. Plants, plants. potted plants. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Stickers like wall stickers are a thing now. Actually, IKEA. Since we're talking IKEA, they've got these like wall stickers. They're like they're adhesives, but they don't leave any residue behind. So you can put them up on the wall and peel them down when you're gone. Because lots of times colleges have、um, regulations about what you can and can't do, and most of them don't let you drill holes in the walls. Hmm. <laughs> 好，所以呢。我们这里谈到两件事情啊，我们从后面这件先讲哈，就是 decorate 这个字，它的意思是布置的意思。好，所以呢，这个刚那两位老师都有谈到，我们例如说，你可以在房间里面放放个呃植物啊，放个摆设啊，好，或者你可以放个什么地毯啊 ，rugs 啊 ，r u g s 啊，或者你可以放 poster 啊，一些海报 ，p o s t e r。或者是你有些这个可以贴在墙上的东西，装饰品啊 ，wall stick 呃、uh, ，wall stickers，、mm-hmm. right？ They're giant stickers。呃，很大的 sticker 就是贴纸啊 ，s t i c k， 这是粘的意思啊 ，sticker 就加个 e r stickers。好，那这些 stickers， 刚刚 Angel 老师有讲到说，他们可以粘上去，然后呢，不会留下任，不会留下什么 residue 啊，这个 r e s i d u e 啊 ，residue 就是残留物哈，像以前那个有时候。你把东西粘到床墙上，你把它拿下来的话呢，哇，会有部分东西会留在墙上，那很难清理。那现在呢，呃，就没有这种东西了。那 IKEA 也有卖这种东西，好，这是 decorate。好，那另外呢，谈到 our dorm room， 好 
dorm 就是 dormitory， 就是宿舍的意思啊。那 dorm 是指那个建筑，好，那如果是宿舍的，你要指的是房间的话，那你要加上 room， 好，所以 dorm room。那因为它是复合名词，所以重音在 dorm 上面。啊，那另外呢，宿舍这个字当然叫做 dormitory 哈，但是呢，在美式英文里面啊，我听到大部分都是讲 dorm 哈，好像比较少人开，比较少人讲 dormitory 啊。Yeah, very few. Yeah, where do you live? So I live in the dormitory. 啊，听起来就很奇怪哈。I live in the dorm. 哈，那这样的话，哎，那听起来就哎，这是比较他们常见的说法。It's just because it's too long to say dormitory. Yeah, 因为太长了哈，所以这个哎。直接大家就讲 dorm 哈 ，d o r m 啊，那当当然你要加 s 的话，可以直接加在后面 dorms 就可以了。So then Sam says, oh yeah, Sam says we could head for IKEA and pick up a few things. Actually, some Americans like to say IKEA.、Mm -hmm. I didn't actually realize it's IKEA until I came to Taiwan and the Chinese was IKEA, and I'm like. And so I googled it. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> it really is IKEA, not IKEA." <laughs>、hmm. Interestingly, so but anyways, we could head for IKEA. To head is to face in a direction. So you're facing in a direction and moving towards IKEA. You're heading for a destination. So the destination could be IKEA or any other store that has cool things like wall stickers. You could also head to a place. So head four is about the direction, and head two is more about the location. But either way, you're going towards them, going towards a place, going towards a destination. The other thing we say here is pick up a few things. So if you pick up a few things, it's a casual way of saying that you've bought them.、Um, I mean, you could literally pick up a thing and set it back down again, and then joke about it. Look, I've just picked up a vase,、mm. and now I've set it down again, meaning I've literally lifted it. But to pick up usually means to buy. You could also say pick out o u t, but that doesn't imply buying. That means selecting. So pick up equals buying, and pick out means selecting. So they just—he's like Sam's suggestion is like, hmm, you know, we want to decorate our dorm room, and there's you know stores that sell decorations. It's very easy to get and kind of cool looking. Hmm. 好，所以呢，这个地方啊 ，Sam 就是 we could， 那 could 它常常可以用来表示怎么样？这啊，我 is often used to offer suggestions 啊，你要提出建议啊，或者是 advice 也可以啊。像像这里就是提出一个建议哈，所以 we could 啊，我建议啊，也许我们可以啊，跟中文那种，也许我们可以那种意思很像哈啊，我们也许可以怎么样 ？Head for 就是前往啊 ，head 有。前去的那个意思，那 for 后面接的就是它的目的目的地啊，所以像 head， 英文里面常常讲啊 ，Where are you heading 啊，或者 Where are you headed 啊，这很很好玩，在英文里面 ，Where are you heading 跟 Where are you headed 意思一样啊，都是你要去哪里的意思啊。那在这里呢啊 ，We could head for， 我们可以去 IKEA 啊，那 IKEA。呃，我现在都是念 IKEA， 但是有很多美国人哈，有我有听过英国人念念 IKEA 啊、哦， yeah. 所以这个都可以。不不过好像，呃，听说瑞典文的原文好像比较接近 IKEA， 嗯啊、哦，好，那你可以，我们可以去 IKEA 啊、哦。那另外，刚刚 Angel 老师有提到说，你也可以说 We can head to IKEA。那 head for 跟 head to 的差别呢？这个 head for 比较是 direction 啊、哦，我们可以往那个方向去啊、哦。那 head to 的话呢，就比较是我们往那个点去，好、哦。It's more about the location. 用 to 的话啊，那所以呢，我们可以怎么样往 IKEA 那边去？好，然后呢 ，pick up a few things. 那这个地方各位要注意一下，就是 pick up 这个用法哈。那买这个字呢，在英文里面，呃，我的印我的感觉里面，他们很少直接用 buy 这个字啊，他们常常会用 get。好，例如说，今天这个啊，我们呃都来办公室，那你要出去，那你问你同同事说，好，这个我 Do you want me to get you anything？ 啊，那或者 Is there anything you want to get？ 啊，那通常这时候不会说 Do you want me to buy you anything？ 听起来很奇怪。I would like to theorize for a second that in American culture, money is dirty, and so offering to buy people things is a little bit too dirty. So we just get you the thing, and there is a problem actually with American friends. They will get you the thing, and they won't ask you to give them the money for it. They'll be like, "Oh, don't worry about it."、Mm. Which, depending on the culture you're from. Or even from what part of America you're from can cause problems because if you're the sort of person that likes their debts to be immediately paid, but this person isn't even letting you pay them back for the thing they got for you, creates social awkwardness. Ah,、oh, okay. But this happens all the time. So, like what's your advice? Like,、uh, you know, <laughs> say thank you very much. <laughs> say thank you very much, but then never ask them to get you a thing again if you are the kind of person who is uncomfortable with being treated. 
or uh, you find an opportunity to, you know, reciprocate. to reciprocate. Mm. But again, all of that is complicated. I'm one of those people who feels very uncomfortable in that situation. I would like to ask you to get me from something from 7-Eleven and then, oh, it's 40 NT. Oh, here you go. Mm. You know, and then we're good. And then mm. the next time I go to 7-Eleven, I'll be like, can I get you something? And I don't have to worry about your asking me to buy like a $500 item, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you know, in reciprocation. It's not that they would. It's just, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so here there are some cultural issues. Okay, let's talk about this. Angel, you just reminded me of this. Okay, can I get you anything? 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 Okay, can I get you something? 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 Okay, can I get you s 那你这个可能就要讲清楚，就是哦，那 what so or you could actually be like、嗯、so how much was it or how much do I owe you and that's、嗯、how you clarify the situation. What, what about beforehand when you say, "Well, can you get can you get me something?" Or, If you want to be specific, you'd be、嗯、like, "I'll I'll pay you when you come back," or "I can give you the money now." Ah, but that offends the person who just wants to be doing you a favor too. They're like, "Oh, I don't need the money." So it sometimes creates still a problem. Yes,、yeah. <laughs> depends on the person. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I,
in real life, you can use this. He's setting up a punchline. He could have just said right away what his problem is. He like, that would be cool, but I don't have ch- have money. Mm-hmm. But what he said was, that would be cool, but there's just one problem. So that, Sam will ask, so that he can, but um, no money. Oh, so he doesn't want to say that he doesn't have money. So he just has a little bit of a gun. Oh, there's a problem. So Sam will ask, where is the problem? Where is the problem? Then he can say, I don't have money. Oh, there's another place where the majority of the the Mu'iyans don't notice, but the majority of us who learn English don't notice. What kind of thing? Here we use "would." That would be cool. Because this is actually a hypothetical expression. If we go, that's great. So in this place, you don't usually say that will be cool. No, never, never. You don't say that will be cool. Because when you say that will be cool, it means you're sure that this will happen. Yeah, we're talking about probability. We're making a prediction or we're talking about probability. Yeah, 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 we're talking 呃，建议或怎么样的时候，你要回答，你要 comment 的时候，都是 that would be good， 呃、uh, ，that would be good， that would be cool， that would be nice， 都是用 would。I want to say that most of the time when my students write will， they really should be writing would。OK， 好，这个 Angel 老师说呢，他的学生大部分写 will 的时候呢，其实大部分都应该要用 would 啊，因为 so if you find yourself writing will，、嗯、consider maybe would would be better here。Yeah， 所以你如果写写写的时候，写英文或用英文的时候，你用的 will 的话，你就要想想这地方是不是用 would 比较对啊。所以这里用 would that would be cool。就如果我们这样做的话，那很好。但是呢，有一个问题。And so then Sam, of course, has to ask, has to ask, what's that? What's the what's the problem? So he says it the most simple way. He goes, "What's that?"、Mm-hmm. But he could also say, "What's the problem?"、Mm-hmm. He could also be more、um, elaborate about it and say, "Oh, what would that be?" <laughs>、mm-hmm. What would that problem be?、Mm-hmm. 好，所以这个地方呢 ，Sam 很简单，他用最简单的方法哈，就直接说啊、uh, ，What's that? 那那你的问题是在哪里呢？那如果你要讲的更清楚，你可以说 What's the problem？ 那就更清楚了。或者是你如果要讲的更这个呃更繁复一点啊，更更有礼貌一点，可以 What would that be？ 哈，那那个问题会是什么？这里也是用 Would。But、yeah. there's some kind of intonations to this. You could be like, Oh, what would that be?、Ah. And that's a little skeptical. Or you could be more serious, like, Oh, what would that be? Like, how serious is this? 啊，所以这个其实就是绘画最难的部分哈。Yeah. 你的音调不一样，意思都不一样。好，那 What would that be？ 那有就有一点好像在这个呃，有一点在讽刺，有一点刺探那种。那那我那问那这问题是什么呢？那种感觉。但如果你真的要问说，哦，那你的问题是什么？那就是 What would that be？ 啊，重音就不一样啊。所以这个也是绘画很难教的部分哈。所以绘画其实真的应该要跟母语人士学，你要学他的 intonation， 因为。中文也是一样，你的音调差一点点，意思就不一样。Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Rick says、uh, we go back to our title now. I don't have a penny to my name. He does not have a penny to his name. He's broke, stone broke, <laughs> cold stone broke. <laughs> 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 好，所以呢，这个呃、uh, ，Rick 就说呢，哇，我我身上都没钱啊。I don't have a penny to my name. Well, you know, actually, I learned this phrase when I was very young. Okay. From a song, Five Hundred Miles." Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Peter Paul and Mary. Not a shirt on my back, not, not a, a penny, penny to my name. name. Lord, I can go home. This away, yeah. You guys really should start a band. But <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> this song, I think is very good. I was very young. I was about to start a band. You guys Peter, have the same、yeah. intonation and kind of timber. You really would sound good in a band. Oh, thank you. Ah, that this this song is called "Five Hundred Miles." This was a very popular song at that time. So if you go to YouTube, you can search "Five Hundred Miles." But it's written "Five Hundred Miles." You can search it and find it. Five Hundred Miles. Five Hundred Miles. M I L E 啊 ，S 好，所以呢，我那时我对这个片语我记得很熟啊，而且那个 Not a shirt on my back 啊 ，Why I still don't understand Why on your back? Well, you're wearing the shirt. Oh, shirts on your back means you're wearing it. Oh, OK 哈、啊，所以呢，这个呃，穿在身上的那个衬衫叫那个呃 ，shirt on your back， 就是你穿在身上的这个呃一件衬衫。Yeah. OK, I'm completely broke now. We've actually already explained that. <laughs> Cold stone broke completely. <laughs> 
So then Sam immediately, as a good friend, offers, "I can lend you some money," because he also doesn't want to let go of the idea of going and buying some nice stuff, as opposed to garbage dumpster diving <laughs> for some stuff. Hmm. <laughs> 好，所以呢，这个 Sam 就说 ，Well, I can lend you some money. 这个 can 也是提议了哈，我可以借你点钱呐啊,啊。那 lend you 这个 you 就是间接受词啊。那这个 some money 就直接受词。I can lend you some money. And Rick then says that would be great,、uh, or I appreciate that very much. Here's the wood again. Yeah,、mm-hmm. like but, if that happened, that would be cool. That would be great.、Mm-hmm. But I can't pay you back for a while. It'll be some time before I have enough money to pay you back. Hmm. 好，所以 that would be great. 哦，那很棒哦。那各位有注意到，这里还是也是用 would， 因为如果你借我钱的话，那就很棒啊、哦。所以是虚拟的状况。但是呢 ，I can't pay you back. 我没有办法还你钱啊。这个呃、uh, ，for a while 啊、uh, ，for a while 在这有一段时间。换句话说，这句话中文大家会讲说，我没有办法马马上还你钱，我要过一阵子才有办法还你钱啊。那还钱，各位注意，你就直接说 pay you back 啊。What would you say? Ah,、uh, I can't return the money to you for a while. Yeah, that sounds could, too formal, right? You could say it, but yeah, no one would. Yeah, so you, 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 It's for it's more formal more situations. Formal. Yeah. Well, if these two had just met each other, had had just become roommates, that would also be a case in which they would do that. Ah, they would、true. be like, "Oh, I can of course pay you back." Like、right. you would immediately be like, "This is not a long term thing. This is not a burden that you'll be expected to bear." Ah,、right. oh, so it's just 比较正式或者两个人比较不熟的时候，你才可能会用 return. Ah, hmm. But then Sam is—he just wants to go to IKEA. I think he goes. Don't worry about it. Go shopping. <laughs> he doesn't even want to be paid back. He says, "Just think of it as a gift." So Sam、mm. just really wants to decorate the room how he wants to do it, and he doesn't care if Rick doesn't have money. He wants the thing to look the way it does. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Just this is we Chinese say. Ah, 没关系啊，那个那个小事小事。好 ，Don't worry about it. 好，然后呢 ？Just think of it as， 就是你就把它想成，把它当做是个 gift 啊，所以啊，不要当做跟我借钱，就好像当做是个礼物给你，这样就可以了啊。Okay,、uh, there is an example of the title here that you could put into a sentence.、Uh, of course, not have a penny to one's name. Andy's company went bankrupt. He does not have a penny to his name now. Is it Andy's company like he owns the company, or is it Andy's company like he worked at the company? Because the first one makes much more sense. The、yeah. second one is like, wow, dude, you didn't even have savings. Ah, <laughs> 好，所以这个 Andy's company 可能是他自己拥有的公司，也可能是他工作的那个公司。好，所以不管怎么样，他现在身无分文。好，所以 penny 就是一分钱。那 to one's name 就是属于他的名下，所以他名下一分钱都没有，也就是穷到身无分文的意思。好，那这里也说，好，另外一个说法，除了我刚刚讲说 not have two pennies to rub together， <笑>你也可以说 not have a cent to one's name， 都可以。Right. Okay, that's it for our dialogue. We'll be back next month for you. Can't wait. Till then, bye.